everyone, and welcome to our March book haul. So I said in our February book haul that everything was going okay, because we were hauling about 10 to 15 books a month, and we were reading 10 to 15 books a month, and that was fine. And then March happened, and we read a lot less, and we have hauled over 60 books for you. Um, so many books that I haven't actually finished counting them. So many books that I've just seen two on the table behind you that Sophia has moved. So, <laughs> so at the end of the video, I will count up how many books we've actually hauled and let you know. <laughs> um, but things got a little bit out of control this month. There are a few reasons for this that I will get into as we get round the things. But without further ado, let me haul some books for you. So I'm going to start off with the books that we should have hauled at the end of February. But we filmed our February book haul slightly early because I had to have some teeth taken out. So we did not have a chance to haul, if I can get them out from underneath, our beautiful, lovely Fairy Loop Ember in the Ashes exclusive editions. So that is an Ember in the Ashes, a Torch Against the Night, a Reaper at the Gates. And a Sky Beyond the Storm by Savata here. So these all have the gorgeous sprayed edges. They have the block spray at the top and the stenciled edges on the side there. And they're all signed. And they're all beautiful. And I think they have something under the dust jacket as well. They do. They're so stunning. Sean did an unboxing of these for us at the end of February. So I will link that down below so that if you would like to see more of these editions, then you can go and check that out there. But these ones actually arrived at the end of February. We just didn't have a chance to haul them in our February haul. So those are the first ones we're going to talk about this month. The other ones we're going to talk about straight away are the ones that we got from the local free book swap box. So you, you put a book into the box and you can take a book in exchange. Um, we donated all of the books from our huge unhaul to this book box. So we had quite a few that we could take back. And we ended up helping ourselves quite a few. I will be honest with you, we were meant to haul these in February, but we couldn't find the bag. And I can't remember what we've actually got in here. So this is going to be a surprise for both of us. But let's do this. We've got The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, which is an adult romance about two people who are sharing a one bed flat. And I've heard good and bad things about it, but I'm interested to try it. We've got the Good Omens script book, which is the script book for the Fox adaptation of Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. I have watched half of the show and I haven't finished it. This one is sadly a little bit water damaged. So we might read this and then donate it, um, see if anybody else would like it. But we haven't had a chance to watch all of the show yet, so maybe this will help encourage us. We've also got How to Train Your Dragon 2 on DVD, which is not a book, but they also do DVDs at this swap box. I didn't know what Sean had gotten. We've also got ah, Wave Me Goodbye by Jacqueline Wilson. Um, I'm a sucker for Jacqueline Wilson books, so when I spotted this one in there, I thought I would pick it up and give it a go. Haven't had a chance to give it a go just yet, but I loved her books when I was younger, and I'm sure I'll love them now. And we've also got, last but not least, Fantastic Beasts, I Want to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. So Sean picked this one up because he has a hardback copy of the second one, which is something like Grindelwaddle? The Crimes of Grindelwaldle. Um, I don't know, it's who Johnny Depp played in the film. Um, but this is the first book's screenplay. Um, I don't actually know why he got this. I don't know if it's just to like read it so that we don't have to watch the film and then we can get rid of it. But Or if it's just because he got the second one and he wanted them to match. But we have this. I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> but that's fine. So those are some free books that we got. So that's already another four to add on to my total. <laughs> so next I will show you the World Book Day books that we got. So we have already read all of these. I will link in the description the World Book Day reading vlog that we did because we read all of these in two days and shared our thoughts on all of them. So those are Gigantosaurus Dino Spot by Johnny Duddle, Luna Loves World Book Day by Joseph Colo and Fiona Lumbers, There's a Wolf in Your Book by Tom Fetcher and Greg Abbott, the What the Ladybird Heard story play by Julia Donaldson and Olivia Monks. We even have the little Ottomans set up over here because there's too many books to hold. 
The River Whale by Sita Brack Makari. Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Football Stories, 20 Fantastic Football Stories by Alex Fellows and Ben Littleton. Protect the Planet by Jess French. Sky Steppers by Catherine Mandel. Skullduggery Pleasant Apocalypse Kings by Derek Landy. Planet Omar Operation Pine by Zainab Mian. And Little Badman and the Radioactive Samosa by Hamza Arshad and Henry White. So we've read all 12 of those books already, which is something at least. And we also have The Boy Who Could Do What He Liked by David Badiel. This was kindly sent to us as a free gift from Pea Green Boat Books. I will link their shop down below. Um, we ordered some of our World Book Day books from them and they decided to send a 2016 World Book Day title free and with them, which was really, really sweet. So where to next we'll go with a few more free books that we got this month so my friend elaine gave me these ones she is moving and i'm sad about it but she's giving me all of her old books which i'm really grateful for and i have the feud by kimberly chambers billy joe by kimberly chambers and no mercy by martina cole i've heard amazing things about kimberly chambers from my mum kimberly chambers is one of her favorite authors i haven't had a chance to read any of her books yet but these are a good opportunity to start that and i've always heard amazing things about martina cole mum hasn't tried her either but if elaine recommends her as someone who likes kimberly chambers i might pass this along to mum to see what she thinks and then borrow it back from her but for now it's living with us so then we have another book that i got free this month and this one was kindly sent to me by stripes publishing this is digger and me by ross roberts so i'm on the stripes mailing list and they would send like the emails out asking if we'd like any of their proofs that they're doing for that month and this one's about a dog and i love dogs and books about dogs especially middle grades about dogs because normally they don't die in the middle grades so hopefully this one will be happier than some of the dog books i've read um but this is also like a mixed narrative one so like some of it's in prose and some of it's in poetry so it's going to be an interesting introduction for young people to verse this is being published on may the 13th i knew i'd seen it on there somewhere um so i will be reading this by then and i will be sharing my thoughts on it at some point in either april or may but a huge huge thank you to stripes for sending this one my way even though sophia has already decided to completely doodle in the front page while i was sleeping don't have precious things and children so we'll now move on to talking about another couple of book box books that we had this month so these are ones that sean hauled in our book box battle video and those are the gilded ones by namina fauna and a dark and hollow star by ashley shuttleworth so this is the gorgeous illuma crate edition with the sprayed edges and the do -do 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 signature page and this is the Owl Crate Edition, which is signed somewhere in here. B -b 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 signed and also has foiling under the dust jacket, which is really cool. Um, once again, I will link Sean's video down below so that you can see him unbox these. It gets a bit messy. This one gets thrown on the floor. I shouldn't trust him to do unboxings for me, but it is what it is. <laughs> So then we will move on to the books that I've bought new this month. There aren't actually many of those, which is a relief. So we have Show Us Who You Are by Elle McNichol. Um, I've seen a lot of people recommending this. Elle McNichol is an autistic author and she writes books about autistic characters. So this is an own voices story and I've heard amazing things about her debut, which was a kind of spark. And the blog tour for this one was going on when I was placing my Waterstones order and I wanted to get the free shipping. So I thought I would throw in a signed copy of this. Haven't had a chance to read it just yet, but I am looking forward to reading it soon. And this is also signed. We then have Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab. And I'm annoyed at myself because I haven't read this yet, but also it's what it is. I've had a weird month and i'm planning on reading this in april actually i've popped this on my april tbr so fingers crossed i will get to it and i will love it because this is the third and at the moment final book in the cassidy blake series it's a middle grade adventure following a girl who can see ghosts and her parents who are historians and they have their own tv show where they share stories about ghosts around the world and it's just wonderful it's like properly deeply bone chilling like i get goosebumps when i read this and i get like the racing chest this scares me more than most adult horrors do so i definitely recommend it 
And we then have two books that I've ordered to read for the way book price shortlist, which is Eight Pieces of Silver by Patrice Lawrence and A Snowfall of Silver by Laura Wood. Um, neither of these are available on my library app, so I had to purchase them to be able to read them for the shortlist. And these are also ones that I will be reading in April, so make sure to come back towards the end of April when I will be uploading a YA book prize reading vlog, sharing my thoughts on all of the titles that are up for the prize. We then have a ton of picture books to share with you today because on March the 20th it was our little girl Sophia's birthday and she loves books so of course we decided to buy her a ton of them for her birthday. So I will share these. There are definitely some that we are missing because we got her a load of Peppa Pig books as well but she has completely hidden them. So they're somewhere around but you've got enough to see today. <laughs> so we got her Pups Save a Pool Day and Pups Save the Soccer Game which are both Paw Patrol tie-in stories. My mum and granddad kindly got her Where's Mr Lion and Where's Mrs Hen. These are such gorgeous books because instead of having cardboard flaps they have felt flaps so they don't bend off, they don't break off and Sophia loves litter flat books but she always gets too excited and ends up ripping them and tearing them and then she gets really upset so these are much more durable and have already been extremely loved. We have a ton of Thomas books because who doesn't love a choo-choo train? Uh, do, 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 do. We've got Emily's New Route, Bulgy Rides Again, and five fun to read favourite tales. Um, this has five different Thomas the Tank Engine short stories in it which are Thomas Rescues the Diesels, James and the Queen of Sodor, Thomas and Lady Hat's Birthday Party, Gordon and the Competition, and Thomas and Percy to the Rescue. And I will say that Thomas and Lady Hat's Birthday Party is my favourite out of this collection, <laughs> which is sad that I have a favourite, but we have read these a lot. And we also have two books that were gifted to her from our lovely friend Georgia, which are All Aboard, my first sticker book, and the Noisy Thomas sound book. Can you imagine how many times I've heard that in the last week? <laughs> it, it is fine. It is fine. And we also have Meet the Groovicorns, which was given to her by my granddad. So this is a really cool one. It's a story where you can see the things. It's like, can you find these things? But then you can also flip the pages down. <gasps> and then it's like a pop-up 3D scene where your little Groovicorn figures can stand. Um, Because it came with four little... Groovicorn toys. Isn't that cool? It's like an interactive book, but it's also a toy. She loves it. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't been ripped already because she gets way too excited and then she tries to fold all the pages up and down at the same time. That's not how books work, but we do love the Groovicorns in this family. We have Peppa Pig Sports Day, which was from my mum. Um, none of the ones that Sean and I have given her we can find, but the one that mum gave her is, <laughs> is still in one piece. <laughs> And then we have Giraffe's Can't Dance, which was gifted to her from Grandad Ken, and Daddy's Little Star, which was from Daddy. <laughs> so lots of picture books for Sophia. And we also have our three curiosity books for the month as well to show you, which are Hon by Jean Willis and Paddy Donnelly, The Magic Crayon by Amy Sparks and Ali Pye, and The Last Garden by Rachel Ip and Annalie Bray. At the moment, Hom is my favourite, The Last Garden is Sean's favourite, and The Magic Crayon is Sophia's favourite. So, these very good, varied choices, because we all have a different favourite out of this month's box. Um, but again, I will pop the link in the description if you'd like to see more about these books when we unbox them. And we also have Stop That Dinosaur by Alex English and Ben Court, which was kindly sent to me by Kaleidoscopic Tours. Blue got me involved in this tour and I absolutely loved it. It's about a little girl whose granny gets kidnapped by a dinosaur and she chases him all over town and at the end of each page I have to go, Stop That Dinosaur! And it's a lot of fun. Um, Sophia loves just going, Stop, Stop! Stop, Stop! You're like, okay, th I'm sure he will. You're being loud enough. <laughs> But this is one that we have already read over and over again and I highly recommend. Um, I'm really, really grateful I got to take part in this vlog tour because I love dinosaurs and Sophia loves dinosaurs. So this was a perfect match. And then last but not least, because it's not like we've already hauled enough books for you, I also bought a ton on my Kindle this month. 
So on my Kindle this month, all for 99p, may I add, I bought The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, which is the first book in the Stormlight Archive series. I own the first part of it physically, but it is split into two parts and it's like a thousand pages, so I thought 99p for the whole thing, why not? I got Jade City by Fonda Lee, this is the first book in a trilogy, I believe, but I have character magnets from it on my dishwasher, so I might as well actually read the book. I have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is one of the most hyped books ever. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison, which is the first book in the Fifth Season trilogy, I think it's, I think that's what the trilogy is called. But um, N.K. Jemison was the first person who ever won the Hugo Award for every book in a series. So this whole series is quite obviously stellar and I'm looking forward to starting it. We have The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. I spotted the cover of this one when I was preparing for book birthday party last month because I believe it came out in America. No, it came out in the UK last month, but it comes out in America in the summer. So I didn't feature it, but I had it on my radar. And then it was on 99p Daily Deal. I was like, yes, please. I then have the first four books in the Still House Lake series, which is Still House Lake, Killman Creek, Wolf Hunter River and Bitter Falls by Rachel Kane. Um, to celebrate the fifth and final book in the series being released, they decided to put all of these on 99p Daily Deal again. So I snapped them all up. And I also have six books by Derek Landy on here, which are Skullduggery Pleasant, Deathbringer, Kingdom of the Wicked, The Dying of the Light, Mortal Coil, and Dark Days. So we own... I don't know if you can see them or if they're slightly out of frame, but we have Playing With Fire, The Faceless Ones, and Last Band of Dead Men in paperback up here. And they put the first nine books in the series down to 99p Daily Deal for one day only. Actually, this morning. So I only bought those six this morning. But we thought we would buy the other six that we don't own and fill them in because we read uh, Apocalypse Kings, which I mentioned earlier, loved it i love the writing style i thought the characters were brilliant it was just the right kind of tone for me so i'm looking forward to reading the series and now i own them all so i can so that's really really exciting so that means that today we have hauled let me do some math for you wait one two three Three books that is a lot of books that is so many books that I could probably cry but yay most of them were for Sophia so that is fine and most of them were free so that's also fine we got lots of the free books this month so we'll pretend that we aren't completely overwhelmed by books and that this was a reasonable amount to haul in one month thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video. We post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. We haul every month and normally it's not quite as many as this so if you enjoy book hauls this is obviously the place to be. <laughs> um, if you like this video please like it. If you would like to subscribe we'd be super duper grateful and we're always really really grateful for everybody who watches. So we'll see you again soon. Bye! So you put a bo bock. You put a book into the